create two small spheres, cycle one 0 0.3, and the other one is M, and A is projected, that's, that's A, that's B, A is projected towards B at 6 meters per second, uh, direction of A is reversed, so that's going to go that way, uh, the speeds of A and B are 1 and 3, so that's 1 meters per second, and 3 can't go that direction, that will have to go this way, so that will be 3 meters per second, it cannot pass through A, um, and this one oh, light at rest, so this one's 0, this one's part of here, so part 1, we've got to show that M equals that, so basically we're trying to find, oh, missed out coefficient of restitution is E, so I like just putting E equals E, just to remind myself I've got that. So, the first part, uh, show that M equals 0.5, I've got conservation of momentum, so I've got total initial momentum equals the final momentum. And direction matters, I'm going to work out which way I'm going to take to the right to be positive. It's quite nice writing that down. So positive, momentum is mass times velocity, so mu for the initial. So it's 0 0.3, mass times the velocity is 6, plus initial momentum of this one, what is 0, equals final momentum. So it'll be the m, 0 0.3, the mass times the velocity, and that'll be negative 1. And then plus m times by the velocity 3 and that will give me 1.8 equaling minus 0 0.3 plus 3m uh, so 2.1 equals 3m so m equals 0.7 kilograms it's the first part part 2 I've now got to find E and E I know separation speed over the approach speed and that equals separation speed is how fast do these move away they move away at four and how often to how fast do they close it's six and so that will be two thirds is what E is so it's done that bit and now we've got to work out B it hits a wall I'll do this bit in red it's a wall here. Um, coefficient of restitution is F, so for the wall, E coefficient of friction equals F. Uh, that's not the same as the C. Um, and find the thing for which will be the second collision. Okay, so it goes to three, it hits this wall, and then comes back. Okay, so there'll only be a collision is if, if this ball bounces off the wall fast enough. To catch up with this one. Well, this one's now going at one meter per second in that way. So, this one here, if we call that v for the final velocity of that one, v has got to be greater than one for it to happen. So, part three, uh, the second collision, if v is greater than one. We know what f is. Um, we'll find the values for f. Since we've got to find that, then we've got to use the formula for F. F equals separation speed over the approach speed. And it's going to have to be good enough to get there. So the separation speed will equal F times the approach speed. Separation speed, well, it's got to, if we work out what it is to get there exactly at 1, separation speed will be 1. That will equal f, which is what my f is, times my approach speed, and it's approaching at 3 as it comes across there. So f must be 1 third uh, to bounce at 1 meter per second. And we want the range of values, so f. It's got to be bouncy. If, it, if f was less than a third, it wouldn't be bouncy enough. It wouldn't bounce back quickly. So f has got to be greater than one third. 
I suppose technically it can't be greater than one anyhow because that would be perfect elasticity. So possibly one is greater than f which is greater than a third uh, but probably f is greater than a third will just do. Then part four find the terms of s the magnitude of the impulse that is uh, force times time but I don't know much about that so this time here is going to be change in momentum. Don't forget anything to do with momentum direction matters. So for part four we've got to do uh, magnitude of I'll call it I for impulse equals change in momentum which is final momentum minus the initial momentum and that equals the final momentum is the mass which is 0 0.7 times by the velocity it goes away it is and that's why v that's the separation speed and separation speed which just worked out here was f times by the approach speed approach speed is 3 so it's 3f so that would be 3f and that would be minus the mass which is still 0 0.7 times by the velocity but if I've taken this way to be positive to the left I'm taking that as my positive then the, the 3 going this way will be negative so it'll be times by negative 0 0.3 and that will give me 2.1f plus 2.1 which is 2.1 times by f plus 1 and that's what we'll do for part 4 and then for part 5 uh, got one more color left part 5 in pink given that f equals 3 quarters so f equals 3 quarters calculate the final speeds of a and b so I need to work out the final speeds so I'm going to first off find out what v is as it bounces away from the wall and then B is going to catch up with A and there's going to be another collision I'm going to have to work out what happens there okay so to start off with I've got to uh, I want to find out what my V is and for that I'll need to know that separation speed from things is 3F we know what F is F is three quarters, so it's three times three quarters, which is nine quarters. So what I've now got, I've got one object of 0 0.3, and I've got the other object of M, which I've now know is 0 0.7. This one is starting off to go at one in that direction, one meter per second, and this one now I know is going of nine over four meters per second, and I want to find out how fast it's going to go. Since this one's going this way, they're both going to end up going that way, fairly obviously. If I got that wrong, it wouldn't matter. One would be negative. And now I'm going to have to pay to solve that equation. I get two things. I'm going to have the conservation of momentum. So that's going to give me the total initial momentum equals total final momentum. And I'm going to take that way to be positive. So I've got the mass, 0 0.3 times by 1, plus 0 0.7 times by 9 over 4. That is the initial momentum of this one, plus the initial momentum of this one. And that equals 0 0.3 times x, plus 0 0.7 times y. And that will end up giving me 1.875 equal 0 0.3x plus 0.7y. I've got two things to work out here. I can't do it from just one equation, so I need to have another equation, and that I'm going to get from E. And we know what E equals. E equaled, um, we found it out earlier on, E equals two thirds. So E is the step speed over the approach, and that says that two thirds equals the separation speed. Well, that one's going at x, that one's going at y, so it'll be x minus y divided by the approach speed and this one's going at one this one's going at two and a quarter so the approach speed will be one and a quarter 
and that gives me that x equals 5 sixths plus y and I can then substitute that into here and that is going to end up giving me that 1.625 equals y uh, I've got to give it to one decimal place so y equals 1.6 and then I can put that back into here and that I will get that x equals 2.4583 so x will equal 2.5 to one decimal place that's a key one actually because if you put in 1.6 into this expression you will actually end up getting 2.4 so you must make sure that when you put these things in there you never ever round and you keep enough accuracy so you need to be substituting in this value and not the 1.6 otherwise you get the wrong answer so always keep enough accuracy. It's quite a long answer, but that's question seven done.